Recently, I saw on Instagram a public safety announcement about a prank that kids do for intent of malice. This is the infamous Drano bottle bomb. At first, I was extremely interested, so I did a little research so I could really understand what's actually happening. My scope is to explain why this occurs, why the explosion is so powerful, and what the chemicals could do to you in terms of damage. Please, please do not do this yourself. You could lose appendages, corrode your face or eyes, or even be sent to jail. How these bottles fool people is that an individual might think that it's just trash and might attempt to throw the bottle away. Little do they know, if they go through with the process, they risk losing a major part of their body. Drano was invented by Harry Drackett in 1923 and is easily available to almost anyone that lives near a home department store. Drano is a drain cleaner product manufactured by S.C. Johnson & Son and is used as, um, well, drain cleaner. And it's intended to break down blockage in bathroom drain pipes. According to the National Institutes of Health's Household Products Database, the crystal form is composed of sodium hydroxide or lye, sodium nitrate, table salt, chemically known as sodium chloride, and aluminum shards. Liquid Drano makes more sense for these bombs because if crystal Drano already has aluminum, then the reaction would instantly occur and would not make said bombs as dangerous. Liquid Drano is basically liquid sodium hydroxide, or lye, but I believe it contains everything but the aluminum in this form. I hope I do not have any major repercussions for discussing how the thing is made, but I will discreetly disclose the process. Drano is added to a water bottle, followed by water. Aluminum foil is placed so it does not touch the mixture, and this causes the effect that if you move the bottle, the reaction occurs. Or at least if you tilt it so that the mixture hits the aluminum. So, what is actually going on here? Well, it's pretty simple. When tilted or shook, the aluminum reacts with lye in solution to create sodium aluminate. Although the exact species in solution might be hydrated sodium aluminate because of the water. The real reason this reaction is so powerful is because it creates 3 moles of hydrogen gas for every 2 moles of water. Keep in mind a mole of gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at STP. But since the volume in the bottle is so small, most water bottles being 500 milliliters, pressure builds up and the bottle inevitably explodes under pressure. For example, let's say we filled up a bottle with 100 milliliters of Drano. This is one tenth of a liter. A chemist helped me calculate the theoretical composition of grams per liter of Drano so I can get a better and more exact calculation for the pressure buildup. I'm not going to go into detail with the stoichiometry, but this is an estimate for the balance equation of 100 milliliters of Drano, plus an excess of water with the least amount of aluminum needed. Most people put in an excess of aluminum. This reaction in real life would never go to 100% completion though, and usually explodes before all is reacted. We see in the product created that 2.63 moles of hydrogen gas is formed. Like I said before, one mole of an ideal gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. A few calculations can be done, and we see that the pressure inside of a 500 milliliter water bottle goes up to over 150 atmospheres of pressure. Ballpark numbers show that over 150 atmospheres of pressure are formed inside the water bottle. 150 atmospheres of pressure equates to over 2,000 pounds per square inch, enough to kill you over four times. And just to think what this could do to the person holding it. Wikipedia has a list of the effects of shockwaves on the human body relative to their power in terms of pressure measured in PSI or kilopascals. So, in conclusion, not only are these ordinances extremely interesting, but are also extremely dangerous. Please contact authorities if you come in contact figuratively with one of these. I hope I have given you some insight on the chemistry behind this and hopefully explain the extreme dangers of this pressure bomb. Thank you for watching, I'll be doing more chemistry videos in the future.